Hello my dears and welcome to my channel. Come in, come in, sit down and join me as we meet our deck. I am very happy and grateful that you have decided to spend your time with me. And before we start, I just want to mention my website shop, uh, Crone Shop. And I have decks, books, free PDF of guidebooks and website links. So if you have some time, just check it out. Um, I will be adding um, items and changing things up a little bit because it's still a work in progress, but you know, you might find something you might like. If not, that's okay. I appreciate you giving it a looky looky. So, um, I have, uh, I will have the link in the description below. And with that being said, let's meet our deck. So in honor of Easter, and I know this is getting released, um, a bit early before Easter, but I am not going to be able to put out an actual video on Easter. So I look through my decks and this was pretty much the only bunny deck I had that just had bunnies in it. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and do this for Easter. So we have the Bix Tarot and its creator is, I'm sorry if I butcher this, Pier Luigi Balducci. And it is published by Los Garabio. Okay, I think I got that right. I don't know. Um, all right, so just give you a preview of the box. It's got some teaser cards to show you. Very cute bunnies. And it has the title for the stackability that I look for. And it has it on all sides, as you can see, but the bottom. And it's got the publisher's website and the different languages that the guidebook has. And there's six languages which is in the guidebook, which we'll go over, of course, and retails for $26.95, just like the box says, and they do have a Facebook ac account. So if you want to check out there, they are a widely known publishing. Um, I'm sure if you've come across some tarot, tarot oracle decks, you're pretty familiar with the publishing company. So let's dive right in to the Bix and it has the pop top and the box is really solid and you have your guidebook and you have your cards and nothing inside as you can see, nothing on the top. So we'll just flip that over and here is the guidebook. It's very small, but so are the cards and there are 79, they give, they give you an extra one. Um, and they give you, they don't count this one. This one is, um, play on Spotify, Bix Tarot playlist. I haven't played it, so I couldn't tell you if it works or not. So if you want to try it, be my guest, totally up to you. And so it does come with 79 cards. And the top one has uh, Bix going from the material world to the spiritual. And I kind of questioned what the card was about. So I read it in the guidebook and I'm assuming because the guidebook has a little, um, little blurb in here that says not just any rabbit, not a real rabbit, 
follow a rabbit-shaped idea, a character born out of the sea of imagination whose guidance can be lightly thread across boundary between material and spiritual. So I'm assuming from that is they gave you a cute little card for all that. All right, let's get into the box dimensions. And the box itself is two, a little under two and a half across. The height is four and a quarter and the width is two inches. I think it's a little under two inches, but it's, it's two inches enough. And the cards themselves, um, the weight of the box and the cards, sorry about that, is 8.8 .8 ounces. And the cards themselves, as we compare to our regular tarot, as you can see, they are very small compared to a regular tarot card. And the card dimensions are two and a quarter across, four inches height. And the deck width with all of the cards is one and a quarter. Put that away. And the cardstock is, it, it's, it looks thin, but it is kind of flexible. It's, it seems a little thick, which I was surprised, but they are like glossy, light like playing card texture. And they're, holding in your hand I mean it uh, no problem I mean they're really really smooth and reversals unfortunately with the artwork you're not you're gonna know when a reversal is coming up so you got that um, the deck does follow traditional tarot with the major and minor arcana and as you can see, it has, as we go through the deck, you'll see that it does have a lot of the symbolism. Um, beginners, I think, will enjoy this deck because it does, um, if you're familiar with the traditional tarot, if you've started off with that, this will be very similar. You can still, as an intuitive, you can still use this deck with you know, there's some symbolism in it, but it does uh, follow along the lines of the traditional tarot. And as you see, we go along. It's very colorful. And it has the Roman numeral and the name of the card. And there is symbolism in it. Not a lot, but there's enough. And it's very cute. Oh. And the uh, creator does have a website, and I will link that. funny so as you can see it yeah this is I like this one because it's like you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you know you're hearing self doubt bad talk you know to yourself So now we're going to go into the suits and like I said, pretty much self-explanatory. That's pretty much like the four. Yeah, these are very traditional. Although this one in the regular tarot has all the different cups with um, choices in it. Yeah, 
happy bunnies. All right, so we're going into the suit cards, or the, not the suit cards, but the court cards. And you, know, you could pretty much tell the court cards as well. And now we're gonna go into the pentacles. It looks like with the suits, um, he follows uh, a certain color. So I imagine green has to do with money because pentacles does represent material. the swords which is I do believe it's <laughs> that doesn't look very restful <laughs> poor sword is uh, typically taking a rest I don't know with swords poking through your bathtub that that's really restful So it is a fun little deck. And all levels, I believe, all kinds of readers would, I, yeah, I can see adding this to anybody's collection. They're very cute. All right, let's check out the guidebook. And it is just a small, as the deck and like I said it has um, the text by Rachel Paul and you have six different languages oh yeah I forgot to mention that it was uh, published in June 8th uh, 2019 so this deck has been around for a little while and you have your colorful follow the white rabbit zoom that in a little bit better there we go and there are no um oh wow that's that's that, okay there we go and as you can see there's no reversals um he does add songs for some reason i i have no idea why he does that i couldn't find any information as to why he put that into his um meanings but it is what it is and it gives you a little short blurb of what each card a few sentences very short and sweet and then uh, doesn't give you any pictures and then you have your wands and for some reason he doesn't include a song title for 
the um, suit cards. I I don't know why, but except for the um, introduction following the rabbit of each suit. And then you have your pentacles. And then it gives you a how to follow the rabbit. And gives you a one draw card how this card is going to mirror me. That's one of the ways that you can do a one draw. And then you have your next language and it just goes the different languages, which is nice. And it's 127 pages. It's very short and sweet, like I said. With that, we're going to go ahead and shuffle, show you shuffleability, and draw a card. Wait, where's the... Oh, there it is. Okay. So, because they are small, they are a little stiff, just like with any new deck that you're going to get. A little stiff, but they are for little hands. Anybody who's got little hands... draw one card for a message and see what the guidebook says. Alright. Knight of Pentacles. Or Bunny of Pentacles. However you want to say it. Alright. Bunny of Pentacles. Alright. The Knight of Pentacles. I'm on a mission for that good life and you can't stop me. My horse races as I gather lots of treasures and gold that's all around me. Okay. And that's kind of weird. Um, the regular traditional uh, the Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest pentacle or the slowest suit out of all the knights. He's off his horse and he's walking and he's taking his time. But that's how they created it. So it is what it is, like I said. But anyway... That is pretty much the Bix Tarot. And let me know in the comments what you think about the deck. Did you like it? Love it? Hate it? Um, any feedback on this video? And if there's any deck that you would like to see in a future video, um, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. And I will see what I can do. And if you did enjoy this video, uh, buy me a coffee, like, subscribe, so my channel will grow and I can reach more people, and click on the notification bell so you can know when I release a new video. And once again, thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I hope that you will join me in a future video, but until then... Take care and goodbye, my dears.